What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap, and today we're going to take a look at FST Beta version 11.4.4. All right, guys. So finally, <laughs> after three months, I've got an update here on my uh, 2017 Tesla Model S. So it is the legacy Model S with the portrait screen. So as you can see here, we've got a version 11.4.4, which is actually on software version 2023.26.10. Kind of a weird thing that's going on is that a lot of the OG beta testers that are on 11.4.7 of FSD beta, so it's a newer version, uh, they're on an older branch of the main software. So you've got basically the base software and then overlaid on top of that you got the FSD beta. And I'm on the base software 2023.20.6, which is newer, or sorry, um, 2023.26.10. Um, but the FSD beta testers are on a 23.7 branch, so it's much, much older, and they don't have uh, some of the newer features that we can see here. So, of course, this comes with the FSD beta, yada, yada. And here's the new release notes, so you can always pause this and kind of go through that. Uh, but basically, it's supposed to be a little bit better at uh, doing short deadline lane changes, so that's when you've got to cut across a bunch of lanes in order to uh, make a route. Um, I don't think it's going to be, you know, near quite a human levels yet, because it doesn't really know how to sort of modulate its speed to a wide enough degree. Like, it doesn't go really, really slow or really, really fast in order to get it done. Um, probably really, really slow would be more um, safe. <laughs> but anyway, um, but it's also supposed to be dealing with um, uh, narrow, unmarked roads better. Uh, it's supposed to deal with static obstacles better. And it's um, a lot of this stuff, as you can see here, um, is dealing with vulnerable road users, so VRUs. That's all supposed to be good. Really nice when improved automatic emergency braking um, when you get cut in and when there's vehicles behind you while reversing. So anyway, um, any increased um, emergency features are always a good thing. So new stuff that came in with 2023.26, uh, we've got a refresh Spotify, which is no use to me because um, Spotify streaming quality using the, the in-house app is trash. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> if you're not as picky as me, it's probably fine, but for me, it just doesn't sound anywhere near as good as USB. Um, it's got some more destination stuff, so this is cool. It says destination closing soon. The other thing that happens now is that if you have a calendar event, it'll show up here um, and, and tell you like why it already has this preset destination, and when you start driving, then it's going to be um, starting um, to, to navigate to that location. So that's pretty cool. And under other updates, it um, says it's now separated recents and favorites in, in the media player. Um, I haven't noticed that. I kind of stopped setting my favorites on USB because every now and then it tends to kind of completely forget them all. And so it's a real pain to kind of try to redo them. Um, let's see, it's supposed to have more precise sliders. I haven't noticed any difference though on Legacy Model S. Sentry mode will record if someone tries to open a door or trunk when it's locked. That's a good thing. More quick owner's manual access. I've noticed that with this little icon down here. And then the Swiss French keyboard we're not using. But <laughs> anyway, so overall, a couple of minor updates, nothing really huge. Um, but, uh, you know, re response is snappy and is working well, so I'm happy about that. Um, back to the music stuff, the, uh, the, the audio quality um, on the last update got a little bit changed where the separation increased uh, a lot, but it also seemed a lot less full. Um, in this latest update, it is um, more full uh, with still good separation, so I'm really, really happy with the audio quality. However, they still have not fixed the uh, USB album art here in the instrument cluster, so um, that one's working, obviously, but it doesn't work uh, on USB. It'll show the first album art, and then when you change, it won't show the next one, so that's very annoying. All right, um, <laughs> but relatively though, generally very happy with the software. And uh, so now what we're going to do is just go on a little drive over to Oak Point Nature Preserve. This is kind of my combined highway and um, uh, combined highway and city seats drive here. So we're just going to go over there. And I think it is still going to try to take that crazy turn there at the end. Uh, is it? Oh, this is a slightly different route than last time, I think. So anyway, we'll see how we do. Most of the route's going to be the same, and hopefully Beta 11.4.4 will perform well. All right, here we go, guys. 
Yeah, I think you got a pretty good view of the uh, the instrument close to there. Not perfect. Um, you can't see the nav uh, as well as I might like. Um, but there really isn't any other way to place this. FSD beta is engaged, and beta is not reared like that guy going in the middle of the road, <laughs> uh, sticking more to our side of the lane, which, you know, to our own lane, which makes more sense. All right, probably going to be a little bit skittish here, taking this left turn, but here we go. Well, that wasn't too bad. Got a guy kind of riding my ass, but um, I don't care. They uh, are free to do that all they want to. Okay. So far, so good. Except for uh, Mr. Impatient. People tend to be really impatient here, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Yes, you raced really, really fast to the red line. Don't you feel big now? All right, so we got a half mile, guys, and we're going to be taking a left turn. So being in the rightmost lane, you can see Beta still favors uh, turning um, into the closest lane when making a, a right turn into the rightmost lane, left turn into the leftmost lane, and so on, uh, which I think is technically the right way to do it. It does, however, mean um, it has to do, perform those maneuvers at a slower speed, which bothers other drivers. And it also means that um, Sometimes it has to kind of edge its nose into the other lane, and so it needs both lanes to be clear uh, before it can make the maneuver, which isn't ideal, maybe. Okay, we got two tenths of a mile, so hopefully she's going to be moving over a little bit more here. Let's see what happens. Yep, she's thinking about it, she's working on it. And here we go. Oh, and she cut off two. So that could be related to that whole, um, you know, short deadline thing. Um, it isn't ideal, it's a little bit of erratic behavior, but there was no one behind us. I was keeping an eye out, so it's all right. Okay, here we are making our left turn onto the highway. Still more hesitant than I would be, certainly. But um, not, not, not together all that bad at all. That one was fine. See how we do on the merge? Merge behavior in recent beta releases, um, basically it uh, just hugs uh, the lane that ends and it doesn't really make an effort to merge over unless you tell it to using the uh, indicators. Okay, we better get over here. We got one tenth of a mile. Here we go, changing lanes to follow route. Good. Again, I probably would have done it earlier, but uh, it was clear and we made it. Okay, indicator did come on a little bit, so that was good. Let me get us going here at 75. See, as you can see, no indicator now. And uh, also not doing a really good job of considering um, follow distance for this forerunner that was in front of us because it was considering it being in the, the lane uh, to the left of us. Uh, now we're changing lanes to move into faster lane. This is great. Oof, hope they're okay over there. So we got out of that right turn only lane. Still going kind of slow here. Oh, now we're speeding up. Oh, this guy's a little sketchy though. Stay in your lane, Merc. Uh, clearly, Bait is a little bit wary of that guy. Oh, also this guy who's kind of weaving around a lot. Uh, I'm gonna. Keep a close eye on him as we pass by, because I'm not feeling good about his driving, or her, their driving. Alright, good, now we're past. So that was interesting. She, um, she went slow, seeing the kind of the, the, other, the car in the lane that, next to us um, cross in and out of our lane, and that makes sense. Okay, we'll be getting off of the highway here in six-tenths of a mile. Hopefully we won't have anything too exciting going on here. 
Uh, in recent updates, we've seen beta bias um, to the edge of our, our lane when there is a semi or kind of a large truck uh, in, in the adjacent lane to give them more room. And I think that's wise and a great change. So it says choosing right fork to stay on route. So that's good, that's what we need to do. And here we go, getting onto Spring Creek Parkway. Uh, obviously the speed limit isn't still 70, even though it thinks it is. So hopefully it's going to go slower. Um, we don't have the new beta where it um, uh, tries to match. Yeah! Uh, ah, they still haven't patched that. Construction work has been going very, very slowly out here. Hopefully they'll patch that up. So we've got eight tenths of a mile. We've got to make another right turn. Uh, we do have the correct speed limit though. We're going 50 and a 45, so I'm quite happy with that. As you can see though, people like to go very quickly around here though. And quite aggressive. And we don't have that law about uh, cell phone use. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I don't really like hanging in this leftmost lane. I hope we move over soon. It is thinking about it. Here we go. Changing lanes to follow route. It's good. At uh, four tenths of a mile to the turn. All right. So far, though, beta has performed extremely well. Now, I know traffic isn't quite rush hour traffic or anything like that, but still, it's been a mix of city and highway, and. Uh, it's acquitted itself very well. Okay, good. Yeah, it slowed down nicely and kept a good distance between us. Okay, we got a right turn and a potential for an unprotected turn. In the sense that, you know, you can take a right on red, so we might end up in that position. We'll see. After this right turn, we have seven tenths of a mile before the next turn, so not uh, not a short deadline there. We'll be okay to uh, to be in the right most lane. Small to being very cautious, maybe even more cautious than FSD would be, <laughs> especially because yeah, we've got a protected turn now with that green arrow. Here we go again, favoring the right most lane. Heard someone honk, but oh, it's just the guy in the car behind me uh, hadn't set off and. People were upset with him for doing that, I guess. Okay, we've got a right turn coming up in half a mile. Oh, the visualizations, I think, look really good. A little bit of jumpiness still, as you can see there with the lane lines and stuff, but, um, and also the uh, these kind of lane trajectories kind of out there in the intersection that are jumping around a lot too but uh, you know it is probabilistic that so this stuff works but it's still pretty cool uh, the vehicles are more static though really pretty incredible stuff this software and uh, just last night actually uh, so i'm filming this on um, saturday the 26th uh, just last night elon uh, did a live stream of uh, the version 12 software which is end-to-end -end neural networks. So um, the neural networks are doing all of the image processing and then all of the control decisions as well in order to drive the car. And it seemed to perform really well. It made one mistake uh, in a 40 minute drive, roughly. Uh, so really quite impressive. Now again, traffic wasn't all that rough at that time. And he was in uh, you know, excellent weather and great streets and yada yada in Palo Alto. But still, it did it. And uh, so we can't really take too much away from that. That's really, really cool. So hopefully we'll be seeing that version 12 software uh, hit cars. The really, I'd say, encouraging thing about it. Ooh, interesting. Now she's going to the left mode. Oh, I've never seen that before. <gasps> that was really cool. Okay. Oh, that was great. Uh, this is a little tight. I'm gonna have to hit the, no, we're fine. Oh, that was excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, parking lots might be a little trickier. Not happy to be driving through this puddle, but at least we're doing it at a slow rate. And look, we got the blink chargers here. I'm hitting the brake pedal myself and deactivating in order to go over the speed hump. It does slow for them, but it does not slow for them as much as I would like to, especially because I just got some new rims. Uh, do you guys know about these blink things? How the charging works on those? I don't. So you know what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to park there um, if I can. Ooh. 
Got a car who's kind of going at me, all impatient. <laughs> Jeez, I don't. Uh, well, whatever. That's people for you. All right, so here we're, we're parked. Not great, but we're parked. All right, guys. So Beta made it to um, <laughs> made it to our destination just fine. That was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I was actually really impressed with the way that it cut over all of those lanes in order to make that turn right there at the end. Um, now, the, uh, this rec center that I took it to wasn't exactly my intended destination. I wanted to go to the, the nature preserve just a little ways down, but uh, it's pretty hot actually. It is uh, <laughs> already 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so I don't think I'm going to be walking around and, and doing anything uh, outdoorsy. So I think with that, um, we're going to call it. But uh, yeah, great performance by FST Beta 11.4.4. I know Dirty Tesla's been talking about a problem with uh, lane drift and uh, lane selection might still not be perfect. But hey, my experience was, uh, was very good and uh, I'm happy for it. But really looking forward to seeing version 12 hit our cars. So what I was going to tell you earlier is that the, the really cool thing is Elon actually said that the version 12 software was running on a hardware 3 car. That means it's a car that has the same cameras as mine and the same um, full self-driving computer as mine as well. And not only that, he noted that it's running at a full 36 frames per second, which is what the cameras are outputting. Or was it 34? Uh, 34 or 36. Um, and also that um, it runs very quickly because um, the code is so compact, it's mostly just neural net weights. Now, I don't know what that looks like exactly <laughs> in terms of, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't really know how that looks, but apparently it's much, much more um, efficient to process um, by the, the FSD computer um, than is kind of all these multiple layers of neural nets and then C++ code and yada, yada. So really, really exciting there. So that's it for today. I'm glad to finally have an update here with FSD Beta and get a couple new software features as well. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.